Kratom is hyped as a natural alternative to treat pain, improve focus, and even treat opioid withdrawal. Sure, because nothing says trust me like an unregulated powder hanging above withering gas station hot dogs. Let's see if the science backs up those claims. Kratom naturally comes from a tropical tree in Southeast Asia. Its main compounds act on the same brain receptors as opiates. At low doses, it can feel stimulating, like strong coffee. At higher doses, more like a sedative pain reliever. In U.S. surveys, nearly half of Kratom users say they use it for pain relief. A small study in Malaysia found an increase in pain tolerance about an hour after drinking Kratom tea. Other users say it boosts mood or helps them cut down on opioids or alcohol. There's some proof from animal studies that Kratom's alcohol can reduce alcohol cravings and reduce pain signals. But here's the catch. In humans, the only evidence comes from self-reports and preclinical research. There haven't been any large controlled human trials. What we do know is about one in five users report side effects. Fast heart rate or high blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, or constipation, dizziness, agitation, or in rare cases, seizures. Some develop dependence or withdrawal symptoms like irritability, insomnia, or muscle aches. The most serious cases, including death, almost always involve other substances, so it's hard to isolate Kratom's role. There's no FDA-approved use for Kratom, no standardized dose, and no guarantee of purity. So while Kratom's natural, natural doesn't always mean safe. Hemlock, belladonna, and opium are natural too. Reasons why you shouldn't go through a field eating anything you find. Nature can heal or harm depending on the dose. But because Kratom can dull pain so effectively, it's easy to get the dosage wrong. And harder to deal with the side effects once they hit. Which can be much worse than the heartburn from that gas station hot dog. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.